Hi, this is Rena from thecheesethief.com and I'm here to show you how to water marble your nails. Um, I'm going to start off with a few, four colors of nail polish. The first one is Orly French Tip White. Uh, this is Wet n Wild Blue Anita Refresh Mint, OPI's Party in My Cabana, and Sally Hanston's Insta Dry in, what is that, in Lovely Lilac. So first you're going to start off with a cup of room temperature water. I just use tap water. I put it in a styrofoam cup. You can use whatever cup. You want to use a small cup. You don't want to use a very big cup. You need a Q-tip and a toothpick and something to cover your surface with. And I use a little lip balm and I put it around my finger so that I don't have to use so much nail polish remover later. I actually did one of these already, so but I didn't remove the nail polish yet. Um, so... You want to work really fast, so I opened up all my bottles and have everything in hand and then I'm going to start and I start with whatever color and you just want to make sure that it drips into the water. That was white, see it's hard to see, but here I'm going to use the Party in My Cabana OPIs. And then if it doesn't spread, you want to shake it a little, see, make sure it spreads. Sometimes if it doesn't spread, you can add another color and see if adding the other color will help it spread. See, like there. So adding the other color actually helped it spread. And that one. Now it's spreading really good. Um, it seems like the blue one is helping it spread. Really good. So you just keep alternating. You can do whatever color combinations. And then a trick is you want to start from the inside and then work out to make your pattern. So let's see if you can see this. You want to work really fast because the top layer of the nail polish will dry. So you can see I'm making a pattern there. And then you can go in if you want. Sometimes it's harder to go in because the inside, the outside rings are already dry. So you may mess it up right there and then once you have a pattern that you like you can actually dip one nail two nails three nails as big as your cup so I'm just gonna dip these two nails I didn't put lip balm on this one I guess I should so I'm gonna put some lip balm on this one so that I can wipe it off easier and this is just um, this EOS lip balm which is really good if you guys have never used it, it's one of my favorite lip balms. It smells really good. I don't know if it does a thing for moisturizing your lips, but it smells awesome. And it feels really good on your lips. Okay, so I put lip balm on both fingers. And I'm just going to pick a pattern, dip my fingers in. Take the Q-tip. Just to pick up. So the Q-tip is picking up all of the excess nail polish. Because when you lift up your fingers, you don't want to mess up the water marble and then you can see here oops, that's my pattern and then you can because I put lip balm on I can wipe off it's probably easier with the q-tip I can wipe off all this extra nail polish on the edges I forgot to mention that I did put, um, I already put on my nails uh, the Party in My Cabana nail polish. So you want to do a base coat of whatever nail polish, um, preferably in the color that you use in your water marble, but you don't have to. Um, and there you go. There, and I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please feel free to ask me any questions again. Just regular water. Um, any brand nail polish, you see I use four different brands, they all seem to work. You just have to keep experimenting and trying um, different brands. They're all different price ranges too, um, and they all seem to work. Some of my nail polishes that were expensive don't work, and some of them that were really cheap don't work. I just think it depends on the pigmentation and the color. And again, shaking the cup helps to try to spread it. Um, dropping it high to make sure you get a really big glob of nail polish also helps. Um, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please visit me at thecheesethief.com for more tutorials like this. Thank you and have a great day.